In the early days, Kumu was relatively straightforward to use, though over the years, the users asked for an endless array of features and functions, and the developers had a few ideas of their own. And after they were all implemented, going to Kumu and building a model for someone who hasn't become thoroughly familiar with it can seem like getting lost in the maze and labyrinth. I in created the template so I could readily create new models and not have to go through all the steps to do the setup to get a model to look just the way I wanted it to. So to use the template, go to kumu.io slash stw kumu-template. And once you open it, you can go to the hamburger and, sel and select fork project. When you fork this project, it will create a version of this template that belongs to you so that you can then do anything that you want with it. Now, you probably don't want it called Kumu template. So once you create it, go back to the hamburger, go to admin and rename this project to whatever you want to call it. And because this is the link to the project itself, it gives you a warning. But since you haven't created it, then it's new and I'm just going to call it template demo. So I rename the project. Notice that it now changes the URL for the project. <clears throat> now, in the subsequent videos, I'll describe all of the pieces that I put in here. The, the main point to realize at the moment is rather than having to delete all of the stuff to create your model, you can go to introduction and select blank. That will give you a blank canvas to work on to create your model. And you want to set the default to edit view. The reason for that is that the standard view implements something called popovers, so that when you pop over something, which is doesn't seem to be working in in, well, there it is, all right. This gets really annoying when you're creating a new model. So the default sets up an edit view, which disables the popovers and sets it up so that you can use the toolbar. And, and I will explain the toolbar itself in another video, but makes it very easy to set up aspects of the entities that you create. So um, that's the beginning. You cloned the template, go to blank, and go to edit view, and you're ready to create. Now, you, you might actually want to go to the introduction and watch the rest of these videos, which <clears throat> I found that the Previous ones were hopelessly out of date. So I'm creating a new set, and this is the first one in the sequence. And the link to the template itself is in the notes section of the video. So see you in the next video shortly.